Okay, so you mentioned uh, drinking water and Aboriginal uh, uh, communities. Uh, was uh, drinking water one of the major issues that uh, the film was meant to look at? I mean, the film focuses on um, a lot of things. It, it focuses on the politics between Canada and the U.S. in terms of them being, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, an, a, a consuming partner of sorts and uh, a producer, a partnering producer. But it does focus largely on, um, you know, uh, the value systems that we have and whether or not oil um, is, is, is ultimately more important to society than, you know, the health and well-being of its citizens and, and conversely, water rights. So it sort of looks at those two issues and, you know, and tries to show the example of, of, of of how Canada is dealing with the issues and, and how it's treating its native community that's uh, that's impacted by the effects of, of the tar sands. And it looks at sort of the political elements around uh, Alberta government in terms of its collusion with industry to protect the bottom line, which is to maintain the um, uh, a high level of production at uh, whatever costs that may come environmentally and health-wise. Okay, and you also mentioned that uh, um, that the film looks at uh, Canada-U.S. Uh, relations. Can you tell us, uh, tell our international viewers uh, more about the SPP, how the framework, and what is the uh, what is the really uh, how the film brings pers perspective to SPP? Well, the. Um in regards to the relationship between the U.S. and Canada, is that we've signed deals in NAFTA, which basically regulate the fact that we have to provide energy security to the U.S. Um, it also is in relation to water issues. So, whatever you know, they can sue us if we don't provide uh, a certain amount of. Um, energy resources, which right now we provide 20% of their energy production. We're the largest supplier of foreign oil to the U.S. Um, and we have an agreement that we have to maintain that. We cannot reduce the amount of oil that we supply. And that is problematic uh, when we may run into an issue where we need those resources for ourselves. And if that were to come up, um, you know, the U states, you know, could have recourse to send in the National Guard or, uh, or worse, um, in the very least, they would sue us or they would, or we would just maintain that oil supply at our own costs, at our own detriment. So, um, also it just looks at the fact that, um, we're a producer and they're a consumer, and uh, and those issues are clear cut. I mean, uh, they they want we give, uh, so it's just uh, that's the relationship that we've set out, and um, that's a relationship that is just portrayed in the film. Okay, and these these last two weeks, uh, there's been a major controversy about uh, the mass riots uh, in front of the White House about the Keystone. Uh, pipeline and uh, for those who uh, don't know about the Keystone pipeline can you tell us uh, if uh, can you tell us a bit more about uh, the issue and how it relates to oil sands in Alberta politics well I'm not uh, the expert on the keys key sand uh, key sense pipeline but um, Keystone pipeline but um, it uh, basically it's just more oil that's going to be going south. I think it's a large, large uh, track of, uh, of underground pipeline track that's going to be put in. Um, and it's, uh, it's key because it just cements the fact that uh, we're going to be delivering you know, uh, you know, a, a, a very large amount of tar sands oil to the U.S. At a, for a very long time. Uh, it takes a lot of money for these companies to put it in, so once they do put those uh, pipelines down, um, you know, there has to be, you know, a 20-year commitment, and also it has to be, we're talking, uh, you know, in the, in, the, in the range of a million barrels a, a day. So, um, you know, these are serious uh, developments, and, um, and there is a lot of protests in the states about what that means, and, and for good reason, because it means a continuation of, uh, you know, a ramping up of what should be a moratorium on tar sands production.
Okay. And you, one of the questions that the film tries to answer is, uh, should uh, oil or water be more important? Does the does the film take a, a, a does the film look at water exports as an issue be, uh, in the in the Canada U.S. Uh, relations? Well, I mean, we are starting to do bulk water exports, and that is a major issue. But there's other films to deal with that. For us, it's more the fact that it's just that within this case, we're talking on a personal level that. Uh, the oil took precedence over the, the well-being of, of the native community in the north and other people that live there as well. Um, so uh, water is, is a very important issue and it's key and it's going to be, it's going to continue to define us and especially as we get more and more into issues of drought and scarcity over water. Um, oil is, is, is important as well, but, um, but uh, we have to find uh, better ways of extracting it that don't uh, have the type of consequences in terms of water extraction. Um, you know, they're both very important issues. I mean, I, I don't think we can say one's more important than the other, but, um, but we are seeing consequences, that uh, unhealthy consequences, because of the ways in which we extract oil. Um, and one of the large consequences of that are the uh, waste of uh, valuable water. Okay, and since 80% of the oil sands production is done in C2, and 90% uh, of the water that is tapped out is recycled, do you think this is a, uh, a major technology uh, improvement? And Will this, uh, the technology uh, improvements in the, you know, in the coming years, will this uh, make the issue uh, less relevant or is this uh, issue uh, will con will this issue continue to be uh, important in the, coming in the next decade in situ is is definitely another process but it still uses um i mean it, it, it there's other consequences to in situ production it it uses you know uh basically natural gas to do this whole thing so it's sort of like um you know you're burning a, a clean fuel to get a dirty one um there you know there is a, a limited you know they don't get all of the oil out so in some cases they will be going back there to mine it so it's just sort of like a pre-step to the finished process so it's like it's cute to say you're just doing in situ but then um, you know, they're going to be digging it out anyways to be able to get the remaining oil when the prices continue to rise. Um, and there is still is a phenomenal amount of water being used and it's only one of those processes and they're not necessary, they're not stopping the open pit mines. Um, it's just another tool they're using in the process. So, um, I think that they're all, uh, in, on a very generalized scale, yes, in situ is going to be, you know, hopefully lessen the impact, but I think they have to, A, put a stop to the tar sands until they can do better environmental assessments, and uh, we have to look at alternative energy sources uh, more concretely. And um, we have to also consider the impact and, the, and calculate the environmental costs, which are not uh, tallied in uh, production of oil.